video, we're going to take a look at how to hold our drumstick properly. First thing to do, let's take a look at a picture. As we look at our stick grip, you'll notice that the thumb and the first finger create the fulcrum. This is the main contact point and the main control point as we use our drumstick. And the other three fingers make a downward angle and they all contact the stick with the fingertips, but at a downward angle. So fulcrum and then contact with the other fingers in a downward angle. And that's our basic drumstick grip. Now let's form our own grip. We want to take our drumstick and if you want to think of it in thirds, we're going to take the bottom third, which is about six inches up the drumstick, and you're going to place your thumb and your first finger right across from each other, making a fulcrum. And then we'll allow our other fingers to come draped around. Now you notice how the fingers are coming down. I'm not grabbing the stick straight across. My fingers are going to come down the drumstick at an angle with our fingertips touching the drumstick and between my first knuckle and my thumb and some people consider the third finger, the middle finger, helping to make the fulcrum. Now a great way you can practice this is once you've made your fulcrum and practice just going up and down, getting lots of space between here and just practice keeping the fingertips in contact with the drumstick. This way it helps you really develop your fulcrum and get a feel for how to keep your fingers not where your drumstick's not going all while. Even when you're double bouncing it helps you develop that feel for when you actually start double bouncing the stick. So thumb, first finger, fulcrum, other fingers laying on the stick, downward angle. It helps give you a nice relaxed wrist when you do that. So that's our drumstick. Now we're going to take a look at how to hold the mallet, the single mallet grip. So let's take a minute and let's look at the picture. As we look at our picture, the first thing you should notice is that the grip for a single mallet is the same as the grip for our drumstick. So you're going to make the fulcrum with the thumb and the first finger and then the other fingers will be at a downward angle and they'll make contact with the stick. So all you have to do is use your drumstick grip on a single mallet grip. Now let's go ahead and do our mallet grip. If we take our mallet, it's going to be similar to the drumstick. We're going to imagine the bottom third, about six inches up, and we're going to use the same technique that we did with our drumstick to hold when we're holding a single mallet. So that way we're able to move flexible, keep the wrist, fingers pointing down, we're not gripping it and trying to tighten up our wrist. So still using a fulcrum, still keeping our fingers in that downward movement. And that is our single mallet grip. 